guys, this is Scott for Slime 5 here. I'm reviewing a new wallet that I got. This is the Bureau Like Accordion Wallet, and it's accordion because the way you can store cards is like an accordion, just like that. So I bought this to replace my previous wallet, which I also still really like. This is the Sakas Bifold Wallet. It has two coin purses and also two slots for bills or receipts. And I really like the design, except that it was getting a little bit too bulky for me. And it was kind of a pain to access cards because it only really only had seven cards that are meant to be accessible. So I tried to stack more cards as I accumulated more and that just made these uh, leather pouches kind of expand too much that uh, cards were just kind of falling out at some point. So I decided to look into something else that would suit my need and I would say this is really great, really fits the bill. This is meant for people who have a lot of cards and are constantly trying to maximize maybe the kind of credit cards you use on a daily basis. This is really easy. So let's just give you a quick tour around this thing. So first of all, it's made out of this, I'm pretty sure it's a fake leather. If it's a real leather, it's one of those um, cheaper ones so that these actually last longer and they don't like, uh, they don't show that special leather wear as in like those shoes that would, um, you know, age and it develops a kind of vintage look. This is actually meant to stay as pristine as possible. So personally, I prefer that. It also drops the price down significantly. I got this for around $15 on Amazon. As usual, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check it out. But the, for the first part, it's a simple clasp enclosure, just like that. And I do have quite a few things stuffed in here, so it's great that it's still able to close. So it has four clear identification pockets here that you would slip in from the side. It's generally pretty accessible. I think the middle ones are a little bit more difficult to get things in and out of. But for the uh, two ones on the side, I actually put, replace it obviously, with Spider-Man decoders to cover up my ID, uh, usual ID. So it's really handy when you can just access it from this flap because say if you need to show your ID to show that you're eligible to get an alcoholic beverage, you can just open this part without exposing any of your credit cards. I really like that aspect of it. And uh, so usually I do put two forms of identification here and in the middle, I actually flipped it over, it would actually have my phone number here. So if somebody were to find my wallet, they could easily contact me for it. And then here I have my or the engineer oath pledge to remind myself to be ethical when I do my job. And behind that, I'm actually able to fit a flash drive in the form of a card, so that's really handy. I can have a uh, backup flash drive just in case I needed that. And then here is your bill slot. It only has one as opposed to the other one, which I had two. So I put my coupons in a few dollar bills in here, not much, I don't carry much cash on me ever. Uh, but it's really nice that I can just put it in here. It's fairly deep, so one of the complaints I had from my previous wallets was that it had receipts that were a little bit too wide, so it kind of wrinkled at the top because it was exposed, but that's not a problem here. Though this is not meant to hold a lot of bills because it kind of gets it more difficult to get out. It's kind of a narrow slot. So this is, again, geared more for people who use a lot more cards. And speaking of cards, this is my card stash here. So I like to put my receipts um, here, and then I also have some Polaroids that I sometimes keep in there as well, which you could also put them technically here if you wanted a photo of your family or something like that also. You can put those in the clear slots. And on the other side, I have the coin purse-ish pouch that I try to use as a coin pouch anyway, but the problem with it is that it tends to slide underneath. As you can see, there's an open gap. It doesn't lock in place here. And I know it doesn't advertise to be a coin pouch um, compatible wallet, so I'm not going to be dedu deducting for that, but I would have preferred that it would be nice if that part was sealed off. So instead, when I hold my pennies, I actually take up an actual card slot to house my pennies. Um, and then in terms of these Accordion slots, there are 10 total in addition to the two on the side, so 12 slots in total. But as you can see, for some of them, I have stacked them. In total, I have about 20 cards actually just here. And I've stacked some of these smaller cards, like business cards, the paper ones that are thinner together. And then I put like my usual cards by themselves. And what I really like about this is that it's really easy to just pick out the one you want. Generally, you probably already know where you put your cards, but other people just looking at it would just only see a little bit of color so they can't really see what's inside, which is great. This is actually my color and setup. 
So you can just riffle through what you want and then you can easily pick out the card that you need, swipe it, put it back. It really saves you time at the checkout and this, I really do love that feature. So that's it for this review. I really do love this wallet. Again, it's geared towards people with a lot of cards, not so much cash or coins, but it really is a versatile wallet. It's really narrow and lightweight. It's less than two inches at my maximum capacity. I feel here it could be even less if you don't stuff it like I do. So I usually just put it into my daily pack satchel right here. It's probably a little bit too big to fit in your typical pant pocket unless you got deep cargo pants pockets or something like that. But for ladies, just put it in your purse. It'll, it won't take up too much space. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. You'd be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, Skyfirst95, if you haven't already, to get more content like this. Or if you're watching this on Amazon, head over to my channel URL right here, or just search it up on YouTube, Skyfirst95. There you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings. Feel free to browse, or if you want to search for something specific, just hit that search field. That'll do it for this video. This is Skyfirst95. Thanks for watching.